Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success chronicles. Hey, what's up everybody, we are here with Coach Derek Coontz, man, an amazing guy, Man, love this guy, love what he does, love what he's about. So I wanted to make sure that I highlighted him and get him out of his comfort zone. No, and get him out of his comfort zone to get some content here. But but really, truth be told, this is selfish because like I love <laughs> dang, I let it out, right? Man, I just love just talking with him, hanging with him, talking with him, talking life, uh, talking things to help others because I truly believe iron sharpens iron. And every time I get a chance to, you know, hang with you and be around you. Man, I, I leave better. And so thank you for that. Absolutely. So that's the reason why I asked you, hey, because I think the world need to know what you got. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> so there it is. Good deal. But uh, tell them a little bit about who you are and where you are, what you do. So my name is Derek Coons. I'm the assistant athletic director for Klein ISD. We have five high schools, 10 intermediates, and 33 elementaries. And we touch kids at all of those campuses. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's, like, when you... Um, when I think of Derek Koontz, you know, just knowing you, knowing your background, knowing your family, uh, you know, there's a couple of things that come up for me. I think, and I'd love for you to just, you know, kind of elaborate more on those, so people okay. know kind of who, you know, about what you what you do and where your heart is. I think the first is service, okay, right, and then I think the second thing is you provide an experience to those that are blessed to be around you, coaches, uh, administrators, kids, community. You provide an experience to them that is second to none. Right, and I can say that because I've seen that and sure. experienced it as well. Sure. So talk about service a little okay. bit. Okay. So service is uh, is the name of the the job that I signed up for as an assistant athletic director. We serve the kids in our school district, and we serve them on multiple levels. And uh, it's providing that athlete experience. It's uh, finding the right coaches that can pour into those kids and uh, teach them and grow them as young men and women to positively impact the world when they graduate and move on. Um, it's serving them as providing camp opportunities, ticketing experiences, doing all of those things that we can do on our end to serve those kids that they may never know that are even done for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you talked about uh, athlete experience. You look at the numbers. I mean, very few people are going pro. In sports, uh, I think less than one one percent of kids go to college and play sports. Yeah. So when you look at like the athlete experience, it's at the high school level, and this may be it for the rest of their life. And they may be talking about high school football, basketball, track, uh, water polo for the rest of their life. So our job is to provide as great opportunity and athlete experience for that kid. And all of those behind the scene things that go in there and get that positive experience for those kids so that they can have a lifetime of memories, learn those valuable life lessons yeah, yeah. that grow them as men and women to be productive citizens when they go on from high school. Man, that's so good. I, I just, uh, like, as I heard you say that, the word that came up for me is sacrifices. Okay. You know, like, you know, as we as we grow through our, in, through our life, you know, sometimes we get so focused in on, on our thing and our experience. Like you talked about the students, like like they don't know that like like this is gonna be the thing that they talk about for the rest of their life. Sure. But a lot of times they don't realize that there's people behind the scenes. Absolutely. You know yes. that are making sacrifices in order for them to be able to have those experiences. Mm -hmm. and, right. And I think when you can be aware of that, I think it makes it a great experience for everybody. Right. Absolutely. Yes. And that. Uh, you go sacrifice, absolutely. When we're putting on a, an athletic event or competition for kids, I could care less whether it's an intermediate track meet, intermediate tennis tournament, the varsity swim meet, district wrestling tournament, varsity like playoffs. They're getting, get they're the getting everything experience. I got yeah. to yeah. do as much as I can for those kids because 
They may not do anything past intermediate. That may be it for that kid, right? Um, and it may be a lower profile sport, but it's a high profile sport for them. And it's, the, it's their Super Bowl, right? It's their Super Bowl. I had one coach a long time ago, he goes, Coots, I got you figured out now. Track, this is back when I was a track coach, track, that's your football. That's it. That's it. That's my number one sport. That's it. I love it. So, and I don't believe in number two sports. It might be a second season, but yeah. whatever is in season, it's everything I got. That's my number one sport right now. I can move on to the next season, but that's you got everything I got right now. I Absolutely. Love I love that. Uh, I think I, I even like when I speak to or, or, or do things to develop leaders, that's that's my mindset as well. There you go. You know, like, yes. I'm, I'm giving you everything I got to right now. I don't know if I'm going to be here tomorrow. Correct. Right? That's it. But today, are you getting everything I got? That's right. And so like when you do that, I think it just makes for a great experience, like I said, for everybody. And so as we close, I'd love for you to you know, just share your social media so they have an idea where they can follow you and show you some love and see all of that stuff that you're talking about. Good deal, good district. deal. So I don't do Facebook, I don't do Instagram, I don't do Snapchat, but I do tweet. So at Derek, D-E-R-E-K, underscore Koontz, K-O-O-N-T-S, S, not a Z. Love you, Chip. Love you, you the man. Well, there it is. Thank you. Thank you guys for checking out this session. We'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs> Go get it.